Now to save the configuration on an A-series device. In user mode, you type the command save. You prompted with the following message. The current configuration will be written to the device. Are you sure? Yes or no? I'm going to say yes. We then prompted to input the file name. Now I'm not going to change the file name. I'm going to use startup.cfg, which is the saved configuration. So I'm going to hit enter. Notice the file has been validated and the configuration has been saved. So just understand the following. There is a current configuration similar to the running configuration on E-Series or Cisco and a saved configuration. So if I type the command display current configuration, that shows me the running or current configuration on the device. Typing the command display, display saved configuration shows me the saved configuration on the device. So the command save will save the configuration. In other words, current configuration will replace the saved configuration. Just remember, turning the router off would cause the loss of the current configuration, but not the saved configuration. Now to tell the A-series device which operating system to boot off, you can use the following commands. You type boot and notice we have the option loader, file, and in this case I'm going to point it to compact flash. Notice there are multiple files in flash, but the only operating system I currently have is this operating system. So I just typed the first few letters and then press tab, and I can specify that I want to make this the main operating system rather than the secondary operating system or backup operating system. So I'm going to say why to continue. So we told that this file will be used as the main boot file at next reboot. Let's reboot the device because I'd like to show you the boot menu or the boot ROM menu. So I'm going to say yes to reboot. Notice the system is rebooting. It becomes very noisy as it boots up. The system is starting. We need to be very quick now because we're going to be prompted to hit control B. So notice just after you view the router information, there's an option to hit control B to enter the extended boot menu. By default, the default password is nothing. So I'm going to hit enter. And notice I can see the extended bootware menu or boot ROM menu. So one will boot the system. Two will enter serial submenu. So there are various menu options. What I'd like to point out here is notice eight allows you to clear the super password. So if you need to bypass a password on the system, you can use that option. You can also use number six to skip the current system configuration, which means that the router or switch will boot up with a blank configuration. So for password recovery, you can use menu option eight to bypass any configuration, you can use menu option six. However, the one I'd like to show you now is number four, file control. Notice we can use one to display all files in flash. Two will allow us to set the application file type. Three will allow us to specify the configuration file type. And four will allow us to delete the file. So I'm gonna go for option number two. Notice there's a single file in flash. If there were multiple files, I could choose their number, but in this case, I'm going to press number one for this file in flash. And now I can specify attributes like two will remove the main file attribute. At the moment, it's set to main. So let's use one to display all files. 
as you can see at the moment this file hasn't got an attribute that's going to be a problem so let's set the attribute back to main so I'm going to say set application file type I'm going to choose number one choose one again to set the main attribute this means that that file is going to become the main operating system if for some reason we're not able to boot off this file we could set a backup file so let's view the files as you can see now this file has the main attribute set notice M for main it's the main operating system so I'm going to choose zero to exit back to the main menu and I'm going to hit zero to reboot the router so that's how you can use the boot menu to specify different operating systems making one of the files the main operating system or backup operating system you can do the same thing with configuration files you could set a main configuration file and a backup configuration file so as you can see the router is booting using the main application file which is the file that we chose so the router is booting and will boot up normally